welcome to 3 minute automation if you are a business automation is a key to success per platform is increasingly becoming popular nowadays because of its easy to use out of the box connectors this is a video series about per platform power apps and power automate today we are going to discuss about how you can send customer satisfaction surveys using microsoft teams office 365 outlook and microsoft form so without further ado let's get started come on so before we deep dive into configuring the flow let's walk through what we are trying to achieve with it we are going to leverage the calendar events that gets triggered when the meeting starts we're trying to figure out if this is the right meeting we have the right people in the meeting if so we wait until the meeting ends and we add a few buffer time to that 15 minutes to an hour depending on when you want to send a survey then you send personal personalized emails to all recipients using Microsoft Forms. So that's the snapshot of our flow. Now let's get started with the configuration. So let's get started with configuring the flow. We are in Power Platform Portal. So go to Connectors. You can see there are tons of available connectors to use. Some are premium, some are standard. So search for Office 365 Outlook. From the available list, uh, select the trigger when an upcoming event is starting soon. It's a good practice to initialize any variables in the beginning of the flow. We will be sending out emails to each customer uh, in the Record attendees list. For that reason, we'll be creating a variable called attendees. So that set, click on the next step, select um, to type variable, um, select variables, and um, select initialize variable. So our variable will be named as attendees, and this is a collection. So we'll be using array to store the people in the attendees list and we'll be using um, required attendees from the list in the dynamic content um, because this is um, a string because this has a semicolon in the end um, when we split it um, you might be um, ending up with a, a blank or a narrow email address in the end of the list. So you'll have to find out various ways to get rid of that. One way is to get rid of from the string itself. Another way is to uh, take it out uh, from the, the um, for each loop when you're sending emails. So for me, I would like to get it rid of from the string itself. For that, I'll be going to the expression. I'll be selecting um, the split function. By the way, if you have any doubts, if you have complex, if you have any difficulties in following me, please um, get this specific function from the description below. Uh, and please copy and paste it in the, into the values here. So um, select uh, split uh, and accept uh, two parameters, text and a separator from the dynamic content. Select uh, record attendees. Um, so record attendees. And basically the separator is a semicolon. And to get rid of uh, the semicolon at the end, I use uh, something called substring. Uh, you can use various other methods if you know, if you are familiar with something else. I'll be crossing this uh, bracket uh, uh, in the end of the text, so that is the uh, that is here, um, and then I'll add a comma. So basically, it's 
uh, accepting uh, three parameters string uh, start index and end index so start index is basically zero and because we want to actually uh, read it from get the substring from the beginning to the end uh, and is the we don't want we want to actually get rid of the um, the last semicolon so I'll use the last index of uh, so again the um, again the uh, want to actually pass the text this is again back the uh, record attendees and the index of the last index of the semicolon um, so again if you have any difficulties copy and paste this expression from my content below now click save for the next step we're going to filter in uh, calendar uh, starts with a subject line called product engagement for that I'm going to click on the next step choose a uh, control of the action condition um, select the condition value it's the subject uh, which starts with um, the subject uh, line called product engagement so if the condition satisfies we have to create the next steps in the yes so we'll be creating um, an action called delay until so for that we have to select schedule um, in that uh, we have an action called delay until so we'll be delaying until the end of the meeting plus an additional buffer time so I'll be setting the buffer time to an hour um, for the test reason I'll be setting as uh, zero but um, in the real time should be set to 15 minutes to an hour or perhaps the next day so um, for that I'll be adding uh, add hours or add, add minutes so select the uh, end time for the meeting um, and add um, 15 minutes to that meeting so keep in mind that uh, the in the examples uh, we have the timestamp has an Z Z or Z in the end um, and the time zone uh, and the end time uh, had doesn't have the Z in the end and also I said that time and time in the time zone also doesn't have that so what we'll be doing is we'll be using a function called con concat um, and uh, we'll be appending a, a, a Z, Z in the end again I'll be providing this in the description below so if you have so next we'll be sending out to emails to each person in the variable called attendees for that we will create a control called uh, for uh, apply to each that's kind of a for each loop in C sharp or Python um, for for each loop uh, you had to find uh, out the, the variables uh, uh, array call attendees so send out email using Outlook for that you'll be using Office uh, 365 Outlook connectors select send email v2 and um, send, you'll be sending email to each person so you'll be using current item from the list so select dynamic content select current item use any subject that you would like to use And I'll be using forms um, for sending out surveys. So I'll be just embedding that into the email body itself. Use any type of email that you would like to use. Um, you can customize pretty much anything in here. So I'll leave that to you to customize. You can even add the usernames. I'll leave that to you to find it out. But basically, I'll be saving the, this out and we'll be testing that for details all right so I have created a dummy meeting called product engagement and um, 
I'll be using this to test out my flow that I've created. All right, so I was able to get the flow working successfully by changing the duration of the meeting and the end time buffer. So, um, so you can see that flow went successfully and it took a few seconds to complete it. Um, so leave me your thoughts, comments and suggestions for me for my improvement. Thank you and see you next time.